Hurricane Florence, a Category 4 storm. That's the view from earlier today from the International Space Station. Spectacular from space, but a system that has millions and millions of people concerned along the eastern seaboard of the United States. There are two other hurricanes behind it and a tropical disturbance in the western Caribbean, something that will be moving into the Gulf of Mexico. How often is it that we actually get three hurricanes? More often than you might recall, it was this month last year when we had Hurricanes Irma, Jose, and Katia. Go back to 2010 in September. We had Hurricanes uh, Igor, Julia, and Carl. And then go back to 1998 in September, and there were four hurricanes at the same time. Ivan, Hermine, Jean, and Carl. That was not the Ivan that hit the Gulf Coast in 2004, but all of that is to say September is the peak of hurricane season. It's when the Atlantic Ocean is warmest, and that's when you are most likely to find a lot of storms at the same time. Not that it will always happen, but it's more likely. So there's the lineup of what we are looking at. Florence, that's the main one to watch. It's a Category 4 as of late evening, and the maximum sustained wind, 140 miles an hour. It's on a steady track that's going to point toward the Carolinas or the state of Virginia within several days. Now notice the wind projections by tomorrow afternoon into Wednesday, maybe going to Category 5 strength. And then notice by Thursday, winds go down a bit. That's not to say it's going to be weaker because as it builds those strong winds, it also builds storm surge. And the big mystery, the big problem with Florence is not just what the wind will be at landfall, but look how these lines get closer together after landfall. That's all telling you it's going to slow down. And when storms slow and stop, you can get some deadly flooding rain. So that's one thing that we're looking at as a possibility with Florence. We do know as of late Monday evening, still strengthening, still days away from making landfall as a powerful storm. Last week it was a Category 4. Just before the weekend it went down to tropical storm strength, now back to a Category 4. But this is what I'm most concerned about, that it will slow down at landfall. Regardless of whether the winds fall quickly or not, still storm surge. Again, storms build surge, they move in, even if the category goes down, the water keeps on coming in. Extreme wind is the mystery because some computer projections put it right on the coast and stall it before taking it back out to sea. Others take it inland. So it's hard to say how big that hurricane force wind radius will be at landfall. Tornadoes are always a threat with any tropical storm or system making landfall or hurricane. And then extreme flooding, if it stalls for several days, rainfall could easily be 15, 20, 30, 40 inches if it stalls. So that may be the biggest deal of Florence. Again, a couple of days away from making landfall. Those of us on the northern Gulf Coast, we are watching that tropical disturbance in the western Caribbean, a cluster of thunderstorms that's not circulating. But notice the National Hurricane Center says within two days, a one in three chance that it could become a tropical depression. Within five days, a two in three chance that it could become a tropical depression. Now it's going to drift to the west northwest. So the Texas coast, they have to look out at this point mainly for increased rain as we move closer to the weekend. So a disturbance, three hurricanes lined up in the Atlantic Ocean. Well, the other two are threats as well. Even though Florence may be the big threat to the East Coast, Isaac is a big concern for the Caribbean. Category 1 with the westward motion at 14 miles an hour. Within a couple of days, sometime Thursday or Friday, it could be moving into the Caribbean as a hurricane. And notice Puerto Rico is in that forecast cone, just like the Dominican Republic, uh, the Virgin Islands. All of them are watching it carefully. Also notice once it goes in, the winds are not projected to go up. They should start to go down. And beyond this point, what I see right now, it keeps on going westward as a diminishing or weakening system. Helene, that's in the far eastern Atlantic, winds of 105 miles an hour. Fortunately, Helene turns more quickly to the north and hits colder water. That's why Helene is not likely to get any stronger and at this point, no threat to land. So for this hurricane season so far, we have seen nine named storms. The ones in orange, those five have become hurricanes. And we still have a way to go. Helene, Isaac, Florence, they're out there now. Here's the whole lineup of where everything was. And notice storms sometimes can take similar tracks like Debbie and Ernesto, Helene and Florence, at least to start. That doesn't mean they're going to end up in the same place. Let's go to Hawaii because Hawaii is looking at tropical storm Olivia.
That system as of late afternoon, 70 mile an hour winds and look at the forecast cone. It will be passing through the Hawaiian Islands. Fortunately, the forecast for this has it slowly weakening as it moves through the island chain, but still rain is going to be a big threat there. Keep up with the tropics this hurricane season. Stay updated to the forecast. I'm Chief Meteorologist Alan Seals.